Hi, my name is Kostas and I will show you the new intelligent features that we are building in PowerPoint. So let's start with the creating new presentation. Starting with the blank presentation now became easier than ever before with a new theme ideas feature in designer. With the new theme ideas feature, I'm getting suggestions right away when I create the new blank presentation. And as I click through, you can see what it brings to us. It brings some really nice background photo, uh, uh, as well as the color scheme and um, fonts that will be actually applied for the whole deck. So it means that if I decide to choose this one and I create new slide in this deck, as you can see, it follows the same theme. The next feature that we have uh, recently developed in Designer uh, in partnership with Microsoft Research uh, is bringing perspectives in Designer. We know that uh, different researches show us that uh, memorizing and understanding the large numbers much easier when you're providing some uh, related value. We are bringing perspectives in Designer uh, which will help much easier to comprehend and memorize large numbers. Let me show you what it is. So, when I talk about um, large numbers, for example, I, I will talk about the commercial airplanes, which are, which are flying at 30,000 feet. And in this case, designer brings us not just the background image and different style, but also the uh, perspective for this number, which is like the, it's about the height of the Mount Everest. Another perspective, which I really liked, and it represents how our features impact productivity is uh, related to the recent milestone that we have reached in designer. Uh, we have more, uh, we have 1 billion of kept slides by users, so it means that they actually use the slides provided by designer. And if, let's say, without this, user spent five minutes designing the slide, let's just imagine how much it, we save for our users in terms of time. So I will, I'm going to present that PowerPoint Designer saved five billion minutes for our users. So, in this case, I'm getting perspective uh, for that number, which clearly states that it's almost ten thousand years. So. With, the, with our feature, which clearly indicates how we help our users become more productive, uh, we were able to save in total like almost 10,000 years for our users. So let's move on and I will uh, go to the next stage. So for me, naturally, after I created the presentation, I will go into rehearsal mode. So, and with a new feature called Presenter Coach, uh, I will be able to get real-time feedback on how I'm doing and what I should, should I improve. So basically, uh, talking about the solar system exploration, and, and as you can see in this case, it identified uh, the filler word, uh, which I use a lot, so I need to avoid using this. Um, I mean, so in this case, we will start with Mars, another filler word, definitely should avoid. Uh, and uh, we'll start with Mars and you guys most probably know when uh, we send the Mariner 4 there, but uh, moving on to Jupiter, I will talk more about the... I was talking too slow, so I need to speed up a little bit so that it's much easier to comprehend what I'm talking about. Uh, 
So when the satellite approached Jupiter, it discovered a few rings around Jupiter, as well as volcanic activity on the Moon. It, in this case, identified that I was actually reading all of the slides. And uh, I, I will need to pay attention to this. So now you guys know about the space exploration that has been done, and you can see that in the end, uh, I will get the report uh, on containing the number of filler words that I've been using, which filler words, pacing, so on and so forth. So this feature is using Azure Cognitive Services, which started as a Microsoft Research Project, actually. Another feature that is using Azure Cognitive Services uh, is called Live Caption Subtitles. And here we are moving on to the actual presentation part in front of the audience. So once I'm ready to present to the audience, uh, I'm, before I'm going to start slideshow, I'm actually going to enable captions in the real time. So while I'll be speaking and presenting to my audience, they will be able to see my words appearing on the screen as I'm pronouncing them. And that will make my presentation much more inclusive so that people who are deaf or hard of hearing uh, can follow along uh, the presentation. At the same time, we want to make this also inclusive for non-native speakers. That's why we support not only captions, which is same language, uh, text on screen, but we also support translation with the 60 plus languages. So let's say I'm going to present to audience, which is fluent in Spanish. And again, in this case, I will be speaking in English and my words will appear on screen in Spanish in their almost real time. And as you can see, with the intelligent features in PowerPoint, we try not just to improve authoring experience, but also make sure that we help user to become better presenter uh, and also make presentation more engaging and inclusive. Thank you.